Miki, a very important win against Setu at a crucial stage in the tournament. Tell us about the opening. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really expecting this line and uh, couldn't really remember anything and made something up. And, uh, and you know, I think I got a good position. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought it was quite a good game, but uh, okay, there was obviously some big oversight that we both completely uh, missed, some kind of rather strange tactic in the position, uh, which I found out about just now. Right, so uh, you were not expecting him to go with second move C6? Um, no, not r I didn't. I'm not even, wasn't really even expecting one E5. But uh, no, I wouldn't have guessed this, uh, this line, although I had a couple of games in this line already. Um, so yeah, okay, it, it wasn't such a bad position because it's quite, a, quite interesting, uh, quite uh, fresh. So uh, it was probably not so bad when we both needed to win. Right, a very interesting game and a very interesting sacrifice on your part and the oversight that you're talking about is the point when he had to go bishop f4. So at that point, neither of you had, a, I mean, you would have probably gone for knight e6 if you would have seen this or what happened at that point? Yeah, I mean, I can go knight e6, but I just thought uh, rook d7, I didn't just thought he has to take back and queen takes e5 and looks, uh, looks huge for white what happened in the game. Uh, no, I just didn't really. I just thought rook c7, and that was. I didn't continue the line. Somehow, maybe bishop d7, I think, is hard to see. Uh, because maybe that was what I didn't see that the bishop is going to the square the rook was just on. I don't know. Right, but it is still a very, very strong sacrifice. After this, uh, giving up this exchange, but you had a few pawns uh, for compensation. Were you sure that you were, b you were better throughout? Yeah, I thought it was much better for. Uh, for white once. Uh, I played queen takes e5. I didn't like it for him at all. Um, I don't know. Once I took on e6, I thought it's probably almost winning for white already. My, my bishop is very, very strong. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's already two pawns. And a lot of times he has to give me a third pawn. And then I just don't uh, believe it for black at all, really. I have a very safe king as well. His king is very, uh, very bad. So, uh, no, okay, this oversight was massive, but. Uh, with the way the game went, I think it's very, very practical for white and very unpleasant for black. No, a very brilliant game and very entertaining for all of us. Now, going into last round, Anton is at seven and a half and a lot of players at seven. Tell us a little bit about your feelings about tomorrow or your strategy for your game tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I'll just see who I, uh, who I play, I guess, would be the first thing to work out. So uh, I, I don't really know what will, uh, what will happen with that. I played a few of the guys on seven already and... Uh, a lot of guys on seven already played each other, so uh, I, don't, I don't know how it will work out. I'll see who I play first, and uh, you know, as a normal game, I think uh, you know, uh, you know, it's the same as any game. Uh, you know, a loss is not very good, a draw is okay, a win is great. I mean, it's uh, it's all pretty much the same here. <laughs> right? Anyone in specific you want to play or don't want to play tomorrow? No, I don't know. I just see what happens. I mean, uh, I have no idea. The computer will decide. Right. We wish you all the best for the last game. Good luck. Thank you.